Welcome everybody to Hands On with Hot and Cold. Today, today we are going to be working with a um, PC motor. Uh, we are going to add some little uh, Arduino Nano as well. And we are going to go with the edge bridge. That it is like this one. So this, these guys, we are going to make the wiring, the, um, the code. And let's go for it. So here we are with the circuit and what we are going to be wiring. So we have here the two motors, the H circuit and the Arduino Nano. The Arduino Nano is going to get connected with the ground and the, and the 5 volts that goes to the ground and the PCC of the H circuit. Then you're going to have two motors, right? This is uh, motor A, motor B. And you can see that this, these are going to be the instructions for the A, these are going to be the instructions for the B. Um, so the ones that start with B, with B are going to be for the motor B and the, this one that starts with A is going to, start, is going to go to the motor A then this, um, these two guys are going to connect them to the digital 3 and 4 and the other is going to connect to the 5 and 6 and then I just take it all the way to the motor so it goes from this one to, the mo to one of the motors and this one goes to the, to the other motor so let's go all the way to the code. Let's see how it goes. Basically, the idea is that you are going to have this um, this motor that's going to go in one direction, and then it's going to go in another direction. And as a last thing that you can do is just turn it off. So there are basically three things that you can say to this motor: go forward, go backward, turn off. So saying this, we are going to go with the code, and this is going to be what's going to happen. So First, we're going to define the, the different pins. So this is going to be const int um, pin a. Let's call it a1a. Because we already find several of these guys. So that we have the four of them. Here we're going to say um, it would be very nice to have some sort of auto completion here. Play a delay of let's say five seconds. Just so there we are. We have defined the digital right to say these are going to be the output for these four pins. They're going to start with zero. Um, then we go with the code. So. What I want here is going to be the implementation is going to be like this. Move the C pin A one A pin A one B. So this is going to move this this motor. So move the say move the C. In one, we need to declare the variable. It's going to be an int. And what we're going to say here is going to say one is going to be high. And the other one is going to be low. So that's what we're going to need, right? So that's it. We're going to change this implementation to say P and reuse the same function. So now we are making the low and high in one way or the other. So 
You can make a delay in between them, like the same. First, we're going to make a delay of uh, one second. Then, for the next instruction, we're going to say delay of mm, one second, okay. And then we're going to we're going to make a delay here of two seconds, and we're going to turn it off. So, boy, turn off. In pin one, in pin two. It's going to turn off the um, DC motor. Basically, like this. So when the two of them are low, we are turning off the, the DC motor. And we are going to grab this guy. Let's say, turn off. We can make this, maybe this one, we can make it one second and here two seconds, okay. So this is for one of the motors, then we move it in one direction, we move it in another direction, we turn it off. Now, we are going to do exactly the same. But, we are going to do it with B. <coughs> That's it. That's everything that we need. So we are going to put this code into. Um, we are going to put this code into the uh, into the system all the way. Let's see if it compiles. So here I make a mistake, instead of saying this, this should be pin mode. Because we find the pin mode that's gonna be the output. So basically the um, the Arduino nano is giving instructions to say output a certain <coughs> a certain information. So low and high. So that's it. That's everything that we need for now. Let's compile it. This, so here I have the whole connection. This basically, I just I just put it by hand, right? So here are the two guys. It's not very very well connected. As you can see, this is. So here is the whole connection. Um, this is going like this. Here is the. The wiring is exactly the same. As we talk here. Right, it's going to go in this direction. So, there we are. And then I'm going to just connect this guy to the DC motor. Typically, we are going to need something else to wire it properly to this motor, like saying <coughs> we're going to need some solid connection here. But I'm just doing it by hand so we can try it out. One here, here, and everything is connected. So You're right connected to it, so let's go. So it goes to one direction, the other direction. Goes in one direction, the other direction. Ah, sometimes it gets disconnected a little bit there, right? But basically it is working. It's just uh, one of the wires just got disconnected. 
So I hope that you enjoyed the video of today. If you did so, just click the like and subscribe to the channel. Um, today we did some things in regards to this motor and so on, but later on we are going to mix some of the different circuits that we were looking at. Uh, maybe we are going to try to play around with a, a little a little device that is, is like an auto that's going to be moving from A to B and so on. It's going to be pretty funny. So we are going to make the whole design from Blender to to make it happen. Let's 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 see how it goes. And um, have a good time. Enjoy and keep on keep on experiencing new th new things.